watching Perch Pro 2018 where four teams compete against each other for three tough days of fishing. We're at the halfway point of the tournament and a lot of big perch have already been caught. If we take a look at the scoreboard we can see that Vision Fly Dressing has caught the largest amount of perch and they hold the number point. They have caught 45 perch in roughly five hours of fishing. Team Sporting has caught the second largest amount of fish with a number of five perch. The biggest fish caught on day 2 is by Vision Fly Dressing, it has a weight of little over 1 kilo. It's a decent fish but it's uncertain if it will be enough to take the big fish point. Both Ilex Gunky and CWC Fishing Team are going for big fish and they are really struggling in the extremely strong winds. Team Sporting is going for numbers but they could also catch a bigger one among all the smaller fish. Let's see what the leading team Vision Fly Dressing is up to. Uh, so we just had the midday report on day two. Uh, it was very encouraging for us. We're uh, actually in the lead today. Our plan is working really well. I oh, love that. Man. And there's minnows splashing all over. Uh, wow! Yes. Good man. Totally new fly. Uh, first time I tr fished it. And it worked out. Oh, sorry. Don't <laughs> hit me, silly. <laughs> ah, nice. Good man. First fish after the 12 o'clock report. Uh, Martin's minnow with DNA fibers instead. Rock and roll. And we're still in the leading. Everything feels much better when things are working out the way you want them. I guess the teams were more or less where we expected them to be. Yeah. Uh, except we didn't have a clue about uh, Elix Gunki. No. Uh, the thing is, I didn't hear uh, what Evert said. He said uh, Netherlands, uh, but I didn't hear if he said lake or canal. Okay. Uh, but Frederick, that, that doesn't matter. No, it doesn't really matter for us. Uh, but. Uh, Frederick was in lake. That's the name. Pertalita. Oh, look at that. Whoosh. So now we just need to keep catching them and and hope for hope for the best. And if you're really, really lucky, you might even have a chance on the big fish point. But I would guess that would mean a lot of luck. Team Sporting are fishing a big lake up in the north of Sweden, and they aren't satisfied with the five perch they've caught in the first hour of fishing. Right now we're trying to find the fishes and uh, it's a little bit hard right now because every schools of fish we found uh, they're standing on 14, 15 to 20 meters. Uh, so in this searching we, we, we need, we need uh, big schools, not single ones. Uh, because we do this for the, for the number. It's really frustrating just driving around knowing the other guys catching a uh, number of perch now, especially fly dressing. And, uh, but we know that it, if, if we're gonna, we'll have a chance for, for the number point, we need to find a lot of fish. So we can hammering and hammering and, uh, and take many in, in every hour. We want to take at least 15 to 20, at least, an hour. The other places we have training uh, fish for the, the past days was uh, deliver a lot of a lot of perches. They're like dead right now. Uh, but so we have to try to find new uh, new spots. But when we find them, we're gonna hammer to the to the hands bleeding. Ilex Gunki with Friedrich and Thomas have had really slow fishing today. They've decided to change location in the hope of catching a quality fish. Fish? Fish? 
Look that. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Look at that. <laughs> I changed to a to a to a bigger bait for to catch quality fish, and this is the result. So even a small fish, get them. So don't don't be afraid using big baits. He may send his father or the mother. Yeah, we are not sexist. So we really don't found the fish now. For the for a long time we got really no bite at all. Uh, some tiny perch, nothing uh, valuable. And uh, now we really struggle, and um, it's uh, it's difficult. And uh, we just. Uh, talk together with uh, Thomas and um, very often we have tra we are trapped in the good memories so one of the options we have is to come back to the hot spot we got yesterday and try to hammer it again and again and again and then we really believe that the confidence in fishing will uh, will come up in which I'm not agree at all uh, it's one option fish could be uh, uh, could be very active there as well, but um, I really believe that we have many, many spots that can deliver fish. And that uh, mistake we do all the time, being trapped in good memories, we come back to the same spot again and again, and we forget to really check on many spots. So we are still going to check a few spots on the way up. And of course, uh, we're gonna control again that the, the hot spot from yesterday will uh, eventually deliver again today. But, um, but we are not going to rush. We're gonna control many, many spots in between. So let's go. Thomas, we do like CVC yesterday. Yes. We make one huge one on the last minute and we close the deal. Yesterday from zero to hero. Today, today opposite. From, from zero to hero. Let's go. While Ilex Gunky are changing location again with some super fast boat driving, CWC fishing team is hooked up with something better. Is it perch or is it zander? Oh, gentle, Jimmy, gentle. Yeah, I'm gentle. I'm doing nothing, right? Just guide yeah, it. Yeah, just, just hold it there. I will pull it in. Like yeah, that. I got it. Okay. okay. This, this is kilo fish. Yeah. That's a decent fish caught by Jimmy Lindahl from the CWC fishing team. The question is, will it be bigger than Vision Fly Dressing's top fish of 1.08 kilos? Okay, surprise me, my friend. It's not over kilos. No? No. 970. Okay. It's close, but not quite big enough to steal the big fish point. After that fish, CWC fishing team decide to change spot to a more sheltered area. We are here now in a little small channel. We are uh, seeking some protection from the wind so we can uh, get our energy level going on because we need to eat uh, to save some uh, power of batteries and so on. I will use my talon. What is a talon? Talon is uh, an anchor, so to say. It's uh, telescopic and it will go uh, 300, uh, 3 meters 60 down. And I push the button, and then it goes down. And now we're stuck. I think it's one of my best uh, equipment on the boat because it, this can bring you so much fish because you can in, drive into the shallows, anchor it, no uh, big anchors of metal and ropes and, and so on in the boat, just push the bottom, anchor it on the floor and the boat is still and won't move anymore. And uh, ideal for uh, having a lunch break. Good man. Uh, it's small, but... Vision fly dressing keeps catching them, but it seems like they're getting smaller again. The majority of the perch they catch don't count. 
Do you know what the difference is between early on today? The difference between? Early on today. Uh, no. The sun is out. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not freezing my nuts off at least. No, but I'm, and I'm... they're biting. Yeah. Oh crap. And it's a lot warmer. Yeah, the not... winds are warmer and everything. Yeah, everything is warmer. Good man. Special hook set. But they've gone smaller. Uh, that was not our guys. intention though. Well, that, that's a, a clicker as well, isn't it? Need to have a look. No. No? No. Lacked like three centimeters. Uh -huh. So it's one o'clock. Fishing has slowed down quite a lot. Hopefully they'll come back. We're, we'll fix some lunch. I got four fish and you got one. Okay, so we got 50. Still 1.08 as biggest fish. Let's make some sandwiches. After a long search, Team Sporting have finally found perch with the sonar at a depth of about 9 meters. They're using Curly Lucy on a drop shot tackle and it pays off immediately. Finally we got some fishes after long searching. This is a... A fish for the book. Yeah, come on then. Three caught three fishes. We have none in one and a half hour because of all that crappy searching. Definitely a third two more. Thank you. This one is actually a little bit bigger also. On the ESOX curly tail, curly, -ish. curly Lucy. Nice one. Thank you. We have a little little race here now. Feels good. Clickety click. Oh, this feels actually a little bit better than than 30. And it is. This is a nice. Oh, getting a little bit bigger in each cast. The advantage with fishing perch in deeper water is that you can find a lot of them and keep catching fish from the same shoal for many hours. If this continues, it's going to be a tight race between Team Sporting and Vision Fly Dressing. Now we're in it, and this one can be the top fish of the day for, for us, I think. Yeah, it is definitely the top fish. Uh, nice! On Curly Lucy again. Blue curler, but but it's not. Uh, we don't even need to, to weigh this one. But it's 30 all day in the week, and that's what counts for us. Oh, two, three, uh, four! Uh, a, a whole bunch of perch. Let it in, let it in. Yeah, but there was like five other perches here. Oh shit, this is like... Shall I net? No, but... Then it's exactly... Click it. Yeah. They were three, four, five around it. Yeah, no. Oh, that one was big. Yeah. As hell. Oh shit. Two times. You're losing all the big ones, yeah, Jimmy. Right. That was not good. That was one and a half for sure. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Jimmy. Yeah. Uh, Sharpen your hooks. That was more decent fish, that's for sure. 
there. There it goes. Only small one. But it's perch and it's on cranks. Oh, no, look at the school of fish. There is like 10. It's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. One me millimeter over. It's, uh, I think it's great to use when we are in three, three and a half meters. There I go, small one. I've bad luck since two hours, not a single strike. Jimmy has a lot of bites, me nothing. <laughs> Changed different color of cranky X. And before this drift is over, 2.8. Minimum. Good plan, Evert. Ilex Gunky has tried several spots today, but they haven't caught or felt anything. They're now closing in on the same place where they had the best fishing yesterday. We have uh, now more than three hours to go. And we are fishing all the small openings all the way long to the big opening. And we hope we can catch one or two fish and hopefully a real big one out of these openings. When all the way down it's done, we try to fish around the opening to the, to the big, big uh, sea, to the big lake. And, uh, yeah, we have still three hours, so keep on casting. We concentrate our fishing on uh, opening, small opening like this, or small breaks on, uh, uh, on the shoreline, because uh, every time you get a break on the shoreline, it's a modification, so it's attracting the fish all the time. And potentially you get difference in temperature in the water, so sometimes you're going to have uh, hot water or cold water, depending on uh, uh, the season. So it's always attract uh, bait fish around and of course the predators behind. So uh, all those breaks on the shoreline are always good to watch. That's the reason we concentrate. Uh, it's big water, you don't know the water unless you have, you're born there. So when you don't know the water, just read the shorelines and when you see something different, fish it. This is the, the first approved fish in, in a long time. So it feels good to get one more on the scoreboard. Bye bye. Everything just gone quiet. Well, it's not, it's not entirely off, uh, but the big fish seems to be somewhere else. Three fish in total in the last hour. That measures up. And that's grass. Also, we start talking about that. We could not feel safe in numbers because we actually don't know when when the other guys got on the water. Um, if they if their plan is to to fish until eight o'clock tonight, then they have not been on the water before ten. So we even if we're in a good lead, then we are not at all sure that we're gonna, gonna bring it home. That's a great analysis and exactly how it is. Vision fly dressing hasn't much time left to fish and the only team that can beat their number, Team Sporting, can fish until it gets dark. Oh, this is a nice one. Yep, biggest of the day. That feels awesome. Finally a better one. Maybe around between 7 and 8.50 maybe. The, the perch is just a couple of centimeters under or a couple of centimeters over. It would be nicer with a little bit bigger one so we don't need to measure every time. They're here. This is actually a good one too. Not like the last one, but still a competition fish. We, um, we found a spot now. We, we had to be running and gunning, running around trying to find them, who the ones was active, and then you get a bunch, and then you had to go out 
search again, find a new little spool of fish, you go on, here you got another one right there. So uh, all the time, the same. This one is over, yep. And um, every time you get them, they're like just around the corner. Uh, if you can catch at least 20 more here, that would be, that would be great. But they are not big, but they, they hold the, it's no problem with 30. Almost everyone is around 30 or 31. Ilex Gunki have fished the same spot where they had great fishing yesterday, but without success. They keep moving from place to place in order to find some fish. Well, yeah, we are now back on the same spot as in the morning. And first cast, first bite. <laughs> Got to keep a fish. Oh! Pike again. Right now, we are not good, doing very good. We search, search, search. And uh, we hope we're gonna, we're gonna make more than one lousy fish. So for the moment, nothing much, but we need to really get this one quality bite. We did one bite, we need to get focus, and that's all. Yeah, I'm uh, actually using the boogie craw. Of course, we had good response on that bait. And uh, I could catch another fish on that. So I, I stay on this craw for the next cast to see if uh, I can get a bigger fish. Yeah. Big. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger, but it's not huge. I'm ready. I'm ready with the net. Could be something else also. Is it a sand or what? The... Deep, pretty deep. We reefed like a. No, it could be a perch actually. Let it be perch. Yeah. Punk. No. Zender. Yeah. It nets it itself. <laughs> yeah, hold it there. I just want to release it right away. As fast as possible. <laughs> they love it. Look at that. What a beautiful fish. Look at shiny in, yeah. in, in the... Come on, my friend. This is the Astro Wide. It's a tremendous bait. It's uh, what I know there is... It's not, you, it's not so many people using it in Sweden, but it's too shame. They are tremendous, really, really good. Easy to fish and... Yeah, you have seen, we take many fish of it. And here is the green one as we wide. This is the one that I caught one over two, two to 55 kilos. This is the bait that's like that fish. Try them out, they are killers. The fishing for the fly guys has completely died. In the river, they've started to see a crazy amount of bleak near the surface that are very exposed, which means there's no predators close by. Well, uh, it seems as if we have a problem. Uh, we got one hour left, and since the launch report, we had about five fish over 30 centimeters. And I think we have figured out the reason. <laughs> the small river we're fishing is uh, regulated by hydropower, and somewhere around lunch there, they totally cut off the water. Uh, so we got no current whatsoever and that's probably why the fish is gone. You can even see the grass here is lying dead flat. The question is where, <laughs> where the fish is and how the hell do we find them? <laughs> we have been out looking for them uh, but we haven't found anything. Uh, 
not enough that well not enough that we thought was any point in fishing um, but they might still be here fish on but baby baby the clock is ticking for both the fly guys and Ilex Gunky. Down in the Netherlands, Frederik and Thomas are trying spot after spot, but they can't find any quality fish at all. It's totally different from yesterday. Bite. Small fish. Unfortunately, again, it's not a big one. The time is running. Okay, we move. We're gonna move. Vision fly dressing have now finished their 10 hours and they aren't allowed to fish anymore. Since the lunch report, they've only caught eight approved fish. What are your thoughts? It was fun until lunch. <laughs> and then what happened? Rather. I'm not sure, but certainly something happened. <laughs> uh, we were in, in quite a clear lead at the launch report, uh, but we don't know how long the other guys have been on the water. I mean, if the if the th theory is correct, that it has all to do about the current in the stream gone missing. Yeah, and we can't get any no, we don't information know if it, of if whether it's going to come back. No, I checked online <laughs> to see that actually, but couldn't find anything. No. And with all this in mind, what have happened since lunch? It blows away all our plans. We need to head back home and make some plans up and <laughs> yeah, some sort of plan at least. If, 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 I mean, if we want to leave, we gotta leave now. Mm. But where the hell should we go? Daniel and Stefan have some tough decisions ahead of them. They did well today, but if there's no current the next day, it's going to be very hard for them. It will be interesting to see what they decide to do. The Cranky X Deep is uh, doing the job great. I think it's, uh, it's really annoying the fish. It's going everywhere in the water, very effective. We did a couple of drifts over bigger water, six meters, five meters, four meters. And now we decide to do it over shallow waters from three to two to one and a half. But we had only one small fish. Maybe the fish, because of the hardened wind, is seeking for more calm waters. So we go to the corner of the lake and seek some shelter. It's also in the benefit of us, because standing like dancing for hour after hour, it will take a lot of, a, uh, of our energy. But uh, yeah, we try a new spot and yeah, look for our chances over there. Because here it's uh, not much, but we never give up. Team Sporting has changed spot, and in combination with the fact that it's later in the day, they've really started to catch them. It's mayhem time. I think we probably need to catch, like I said before, 100, 120. We're gonna be really busy if we're gonna pull this one off. So, but we do our best and what best we can do. Hopeful that it will go all the way. But 100, 120, at least. 
It's great that you're aiming high, Stefan, but in fact 53 perch would be enough, since the fly guys have had really slow fishing after their lunch report. This is a, this is a nice one. Yeah. Yeah. The afternoon fishing has been really good when the wind come down. Uh, I haven't fished this area that only day, but I was on the other side of the lake where, where they were night fishing. That was really, really good. So we just hope it could be the same right here on this spot. Look at the perches. Look at these, these rays we have now. Aren't they beautiful? Red fins, black stripes. The sporting lie well. Oh, can it be bigger for today? This is a kilo fish. Yeah. Yeah. This one is not bigger than that. No, it is. Oh, it's a, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. Oh, rock and roller. This is a big one. This is the biggest. This is the pike. Oh, this is a really big one. Get, get, get the net. Get the net. Get the net down. This is a giant. This is a giant. Get the net this, down. It's over one again. Oh, fuck off! No. Yeah! Oh. What the fuck? Yeah. Look at that oh, big fuck! Oh. <laughs> oh. Look oh. at that! It's two times the size. This is 50 centimeters. Yeah, get away. You gotta be gone away, this one. Click it first. <laughs> Please click it. Uh. That's Gabolan, just rocking! This is a turning point in the competition. Team Sporting said they were going for numbers and out of nowhere they catch what seems to be a new top fish. There's bait everywhere, there's it's, chaos. It's 49. Where's the weight scale? No, it's 50. It's a 50 fish. 12.95. But. We're here for numbers right now. It was the other leg we should take that one. But this, this is a really nice. 49 and a half centimeter, 50 centimeter. 1300 gram. Awesome! Yes! With this fish of 1.295 kilos, Team Sporting steals Vision Fly Dressing's big fish point. It's not a fat fish, but a perch of 50 centimeters caught in the north of Sweden is a great achievement. That perch could be over 20 years old. Look at this, boys! Back full of perch. This is how it. This is how we do it in team sporting. So let's see. Catching. Down in the Netherlands, it doesn't look as bright as it does for team sporting. Frederik and Thomas are starting to get a little bit frustrated, but one big fish could be enough to go from zero to hero. Come on. Huh? I say, come on. There goes something. Oh. Fish on. Ah. Oh. good. Frederick and Thomas keep fishing, and from nowhere, Frederick hooks a fish that could turn out to be a winner. It's coming. coming. It's coming. Yeah. Oh, fuck it! Fuck off! He held it! Heko Zakramint! Fuck! It's a nice sander, but when fishing in a perch tournament, it can be a huge disappointment if you catch the wrong species, especially when it's been a slow day of fishing. Another day, I'll be so happy to have this nice sander. But not today. Today, it's the wrong species. Even if it's good to have some action. But boogie crow is working. That's true. Pike, zander, perch, you name it. Just doesn't help us today. All right, here we go again. On the daddy's perch. This is a really, really good uh, 
color for the night, it, it, it seems. Look at that one. Really nice. This is so fun, so fun. The fish keep coming for Team Sporting and with that fish, without knowing it, they passed Vision Fly Dressing in numbers. Great work, you've now secured the number point as the fishing time for the Fly Guys is up. We had a super mayhem hour one hour ago where we cut 31 in one hour. The last hour we have only nine. So it depends a little bit how the next couple hours going to be. If we catch only nine or ten in an hour, I don't think it will be enough. Can we get another mayhem hour or two when we catch 20, 25, 30 in an hour? Then maybe we can take one point. But I think it, 100 is not enough. We probably need 120, 130, maybe even more. But up in that area, if you get 125, you have a good chance getting the number point. I'm not saying we're going to get it, but there's a good chance getting it. So it's just find the fish again and uh, smoke them. Very interesting. Stefan, what do you think about the big perch you caught? Will it be enough? It was a little bit skinny, so it was 1.3 kilo, the heaviest fish. Normally when you get it, when you catch a fish who is 50 centimeter, it'll normally be 18, 1900, something like that. It was a super nice fish, just way, way, way too skinny. But you never know. Maybe it could be the biggest, you never know that. Maybe they're not succeed that we have one point for the biggest fish. There's always a chance. When they're catching only like three or four or five fish a day, if they don't catch the right one, how do you know? It could be the one. But this is the one. Last cast. The quality fish are swimming underneath them, and as we know from yesterday, the only problem is to get them to bite. Fish. Oh, not big. Dead. I had a shy bite on, on the craw, so I changed to the Deraku and... Well, 15 Fif minutes 15? left. One last, uh, one last spot. Frederick and Thomas are gambling and changing spots to a place where Frederick knows many big fish have been caught. Could they go from zero to hero? Fish on, fish on. Oh, no. Anyway, I don't care because it's uh, not yeah. a kilo fish. No, it's not a kilo fish. That's true. But so activity. Right. We change. Do the outside with the Deraku. I do the inside. Just control the boat so it stays around. The time is now up for Ilex Gunky and they are quite disappointed with their day. That's what happens when you fish with your memories. <laughs> You're blank, that's all. Lousy day. That's, that's true. Lousy day. Didn't find them. Unable to change, unable to think out of the box. Go deep, not a single time in the day we went deep. We just keep hammering like stupid, shallow. Come on. That's fishing, but... The other boat today, they catch, they catch fish, not us. So, no good today. Not, uh, not good thinking. Let's see what brings tomorrow. To be fair, CWC fishing team have only caught three more fish than you and they are fishing the same area. For some reason, it seems like the fishing completely died in that lake system. Unfortunately, you don't get a medal for participating in Perch Pro. It's tough and it's small margins that decide if you get the point or not. Make yourselves ready! Ready for what, Everett? War! <laughs> 
Now ready for the big one. It will come now. Now we can fish normal here. We fished all day long in this area because of the wind. It was impossible to fish in the good spots. Now the wind dropped. It's like the perfect situation. The thing is, we are here and we are not 100% confident that we can catch the big one. What we can do is drive back all the way. It will cost us 25 minutes. And I know some places over there where, where there is big fish because I caught them of 48 centimeters. And that can bring us the victory. And so now we are thinking what to do, stay here and have 25 more minutes of extra fishing time or speed up and make a huge gamble and maybe catch the big one. We take the chance. Now the wind has calmed down so much and we had a good pre-fishing there. So let's do it. 45 minutes of fishing, it's worth it. Let's do it. Sure? Yeah, I have a good feeling about it. Okay, then we actually. go. <laughs> there we go. They are so crazy. Yeah, uh, it's a little bit stupid, but that was a good place. After some consideration, Vision Fly Dressing have decided what they should do tomorrow. Let's hear from them about it. Well, we found out early on that it's, there's no point in leaving. No. Well, we, we got 50 fish, 55 fish over 30 centimeters. Yeah, 55. It's actually very good, very good fishing. Yep. Uh, and I feel sometimes like, yeah, I'm, I'm not grateful for, for what, we, what we're actually getting. But I mean, it's 55 fish over 30 centimeters. Yeah, uh, that's good. That's good. But we, 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 we are just forgetting about that. When, yeah. it's every, when so many of, of the fish we're catching during the day mm. is in one hour. Mm. And we got so many empty hours mm. that just blows our mind, and we think, oh, it's been bad fishing. It sucks. But it hasn't. No, it hasn't. It, it was really, really good until lunch. Yeah. But what we spoke about was leaving mm. and choosing a new area, mm. which we haven't test fished. No. We don't have anything at all. No. So that might be even worse. That's a, yeah, that's a stupid idea. <laughs> and we can't do that. We know there's fish here. Mm. We don't know where they are. Mm. Or if they will bite tomorrow. We don't know anything about that. But, but it's fishing. Yeah. And it feels way more safer to... Or not safer, smarter. Smarter. To go what we know. The number point swims here and uh, Maybe even the, the big fish point. On a good day if we get lucky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then I think we need to get the boat ready and get free because I want to go to bed. I'm yeah, me too. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. All right, let's do it. Yes. The fishing for Team Sporting has slowed down, but they are catching one from time to time, and Robin seems to be really thrilled about it. Oh, happy day! Oh, happy day! Heading 20 more of those, please. The other night was totally amazing. Where we are in the evening. And today it's not, it's getting really, really cold. We definitely made a mistake. Doing this evening fishing, we should never, we should, we should have gone out earlier, but it's always easier to, when you know the, no, no, what's happening? The other night we were fishing here it was like totally mayhem. It was perch chasing all over the surface, but it was way warmer than this today, and not as windy. So sometimes you, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. This night was a loser, that's for sure. We should have taken the morning, but yeah, that's the way it is. Everett, you can't lose hope now. You still have 17 minutes left. Uh, plenty of time. Plenty of time. 
And we did it yesterday in the last four, four or five minutes. So we can uh, struggle for at least 10 mi more minutes. And then we do the trick again, no problem. Team Sporting has decided to go home and start fishing early the next day instead. Do you guys think your big fish will be enough for a point? 1.3 kilo. That, will be, that won't be enough though. It's a really nice fish, but yep. compared to the big fish they have down in Holland, we have no chance to uh, snatch a point on that one. This is not Now when we know both uh, Elix Junki and uh, CVC, the both team are in, in Holland, that uh, feels, feels a little bit stressful for the, uh, the, big, uh, the big fish point. If you catch a 50 centimeter perch in Holland, it's 2.3 kilo. That's, they're way bigger than they are up here in the north. But it's pretty cool though. I think we're dealing with some really cool stuff, some cool things. Probably wasn't giving us any point, but it's been a great day uh, still. And we it's got a, a, and we got a, a new day, day tomorrow to do something new crazy stuff. So we'll see. Time is now up for CWC fishing team as well. Evert, who do you think got the numbers point today? I think Vision, because they are already had 45 perch, they were unbeatable for the number point, so they get at least one point. So that's, that's for a fact. Yeah. And my high hopes is that uh, Frederick and Thomas will get a, a big, big fish. Then every team has one point and that gives us uh, yeah, the chance for tomorrow. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but that's fishing. And, but, but still fish until the last minute. Never give up. That's my tip for you guys. Good tip for the audience there, Evert. It worked out for you yesterday, but unfortunately not today. Let's roll out the leaderboard and see the results for day two. Vision fly dressing really crushed the numbers until the lunch report. After midday, Team Sporting caught up with them and managed to beat the fly guys, ending up with 72 perch over 30 centimeters. Well done! The second biggest perch was caught early by Vision Fly Dressing, but out of nowhere, Team Sporting caught a 50 centimeter perch with a weight of 1.295 kilos. After day two, CWC Fishing Team has one point and Team Sporting has three points. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to Canal Gratis so you don't miss the next episode. My name is Philip O'Connor and you're watching Perch Pro 2018. All good things come to him.